Alrighty, welcome back to the Lion Podcast. My name is Aaron Alexander. Today's beautiful episode is a solo episode with just me. I'm breaking down one of the chapters of the most recently published book, The Aligned Method. Typically, this podcast for newcomers is a space that we bring together the world's leading experts on all things health and wellness to help y'all optimize your mind, body, and movement um, through popular, popular demand people have asked about me doing more solo stuff. So we're going to do it. And today we're going to break down particularly chapter about the value of spending time on the ground. Chapter four, floor sitting, your foundation for self-care. Um, I really appreciate people's reviews on Amazon for the Align Method book. I obviously appreciate you purchasing the book. Uh, I wanted to read a review from Jonathan Nassman. Five stars, verified purchase from Mr. Nasman. Great guide to inhabiting your body better. I'm not going to read the whole thing, but he says, this is the guide I'll be recommending to my clients who want to move pain-free and regain their natural flexibility. Incredibly well-written, well-researched, while also being highly practical and accessible. I actually am reading the whole thing. Recommend to anyone who wants to inhabit your body better. Um, so today, we are talking about floor sitting. Um, and... I'm going to start off with a quote from Albert Einstein, which is the way that we start the chapter. And he says, you can't solve a problem with the same thought process that started the problem. Um, we, as Western culture, humanity, uh, are, we have so many gadgets and gizmos and top tips and nutritional supplementation and all these things to help ameliorate an issue that the root cause um, is not being addressed. And our hips and knees and ankles and spines and all the fluids throughout our body um, have been structured, built upon our movement through a full range of motion that is necessitated by uh, just simply getting down and up off of the ground like any kid would do uh, or any tribal person or any person in a developing country. Uh, you see that very commonly in like uh, well, for example, Northern Africa, uh, Eastern Mediterranean, Southeast Asia, all places that I've spent at least like a few months in each of these places. And uh, something that I notice is people just naturally when they're waiting at a bus stop or when they're eating or hanging out with their friends or kids or maybe toileting or sleeping, um, they will go through a full range of motion naturally because they go down to the ground. And what you see with those cultures is they have minimal to no incidence of osteoarthritis of the hips, very low incidence in the knees. Um, fall risk becomes uh, kind of like almost not a thing among elderly because since they've been little people, they go up and down through those full ranges of motion. You got to flex it while you got it. You can think of your body kind of like a home. And if you do not inhabit that home, you don't clean it up and keep a family inside of there, uh, then eventually squatters can come and occupy that space and then it will not be yours anymore. The squatters inside of our hips or our knees or our ankles or our spines, etc., cetera, um, could be like adhesions or calcification or inflammation. And so what we got to do is we got to clean those things up through going through these self-tuning mechanisms, such as just simply squatting those hips all the way down. Um, right now, as I'm recording this conversation, uh, or whatever this is, solo, mono, mono, monologue, um, I am sitting on the edge of a foam roller. I'm sitting on the front edge of my sit bones, which naturally stacks my hips into a more um, upright position. The L5, S1 vertebra lower down in your back. Uh, they're kind of shaped like an, a, a more of a wedge shape. I talk about this with Esther Gokule in a past podcast episode. You guys can refer to that. And so the larger end of the wedge, the wider portion, is facing forward. Uh, and so you naturally, when you're sitting, will kind of hinge forward just ever so slightly to start to set the stage for a stacked spine all the way up the rest of the way, up through your vertebrae, all the way to the top of your head. So if you can, right now, as you're listening to this, you might be in your car, you might be on a bicycle, whatever, um, you can just reach underneath, grab your butt cheeks, hopefully you're parked, and pull those guys straight back, and then you're going to be on the front edge of those sit bones, just in the, just in the not like overly anteriorly or forward tilted with the pelvis, 
um, just a little bit on the front edge of those guys. And what you'll find with that is all of a sudden you'd be able to begin the process of bearing more weight down through your shoulders. If your foundation is set up stably by doing this, then all of a sudden you can distribute that weight evenly through the rest of the system. Um, so these cultures, they, uh, by going through these ranges of motion, it's like literally think of it as like a tuning mechanism for your body. Something I would recommend for y'all is, uh, make it very comfortable. So get yourself a comfy rug, get yourself like floor cushions, get yourself maybe like some Moroccan poofs, uh, and make it cool, like make it a vibe. Um, put that area near a window is a great thing to have, like have actual like floor sitting territory in your place. And, um, when you have opportunities, go outside, sit in the grass, bring your family out there, bring your grandma and your parents. Um, if you care about your parents autonomy into old age, uh, send them this podcast or send them the book or just tell them to start going through that full range of motion and maybe have tea in the morning on, um, sit on the ground and stack up a bunch of pillows underneath your butt. And a nice principle that you can play with with that is make sure that your hips are always above the height of your knees. If your hips are above the height of your knees, then that will stack that pelvis into the position we were talking about before, setting the rest of your spine up for success. And it's a great thing. Um, so interesting little thing. We'll, we'll, won't go too long on this because I think you guys are kind of getting the point. These episodes are supposed to be short. Um, but a study that came out of the European Journal of Preventative Cardiology. It's called the Sit-Rise Test. Uh, you all might have heard of it. We've talked about this podcast before. Um, essentially what it is, is you, you can, you can play, play with it today. Try it with your friends or just yourself. Um, just start off standing and then try to come down into a squat and then sit down to the ground. It's going to be helpful to cross your legs to do this. So you can kind of sit into like a cross-legged position and see how smoothly you can do that. And then try to stand back up from that same cross-legged position and see how smoothly you can do that. We'll start off with a total point score of 10. Every time you wobble a little bit as you're going through the motion, it's reducing a half point. Every time you actually have to use a point of contact with your hand, reduce a total point. And what they found with that was that uh, people that had the lowest scores in that sit-rise test, they deduced a bunch of points from it. We have the specifics in the book. Um, they were significantly more likely to uh, die during the time frame of that study. So it was 6.3 years I'm reading here. And uh, people that had a score, uh, the folks involved were age 51 to 80. And the people that had a 0 to 3 score were almost six times more likely to die during that 6.3 year span. Pretty ridiculous. So if you are able to go through that full range of motion, it is just an indication of the vitality of the rest of your systems in your body. Um, okay, I think that's enough. Um, a couple little things in here. It's really good for... Uh, it's interesting how certain cultures, such as uh, Muslim religion. So I spent like three months in Morocco, and I was out there on a surf trip. Super fun, good times. And I would... Uh, I remember the prayer call five times a day. You'd get this, I don't know what they're saying exactly, but um, that's probably offensive the way I'm saying that. But um, you get this prayer call and it was a call for people to come and um, do a prayer. And it's interesting what that does is it bakes into the system of that, that religious dogma. Uh, it bakes health essentially into that system because it causes, one, the people to take a mindfulness break. Um, two, it brings community together, which these are all chapters in the book, um, to come together in prayer. Uh, three, it takes people, they come down to the ground, they prostrate themselves. So they come down and they actually get down to the ground at least five times a day, but much more than that. Um, four, they're raising their arms up over their head. Sometimes they're bowing, bringing their hands all the way down to the ground. So they go on that overhead range of motion, which is kind of like the hanging chapter. Um, so there's certain even religious practices that naturally integrate some of these healthy tuning mechanisms into our daily life. Uh, I would challenge y'all to start to integrate your own daily practices that are just naturally and seamlessly start to integrate some of this 
these self-tuning movements. And one of a really obvious one, and the discussion of today is just spending at least 30 minutes each day on the ground. Uh, you don't need to get rid of your couch. You don't need to get rid of chairs. Uh, you can keep all that stuff. Uh, it's just, it's the manner in which you inhabit the couch and inhabit the chair. When you're in the chair, can you be on the front edge of those sit bones like we mentioned? Can your hips be up above the knees like we mentioned? Um, take regular breaks. You know, so you can set like a Pomodoro timer would be a thing. Uh, so that'd be 25 minutes of concentrated work from your floor, ideally. If you need to be in a chair, it's fine. Uh, but ideally floor, it's going to be much better. Essentially, it turns your work experience into like yoga. And uh, then have, after that 25 minutes, have a five-minute break where you go, you take a walk, you expose your, sit, your skin to the sun, you expose your eyes to the sun, maybe take your shirt off, open up those photoreceptors to gather as much of that vitamin D as you can. Uh, and then come back and do another concentrated work session. Uh, this would be way more beneficial than just sitting in that sedentary way throughout the day. We'll do another solo episode where we get into some research from NASA and various different researchers of the value of integrating uh, little titrates of fitness throughout the day as opposed to like big gulps like we would by going to like a big exercise session for an hour and then sitting the rest of the day. So spending time on the ground is a easy, simple, safe way to Mobilize your hips, mobilize all your joints, circulate fluid, um, prevent fall risk, uh, prevent uh, blood clots, which is an interesting thing. If you look at, uh, I'm reading this from the American Blood Clot Association, approximately 300,000 Americans die each year from blood clots that travel from uh, like DVT, deep vein thrombosis. Uh, crazy. And then they go to the lungs for pulmonary embolism is what happens. Uh, but that is ridiculous that that's happening and that is just a product of us not treating our bodies the way that they have naturally uh, been treated just by being moved by our world since the beginning of humanity um, by stopping and just allowing that blood to pull up in our lower compartments it is very problematic for the function of every system in your body the simple act of spending time on the ground can ameliorate all of that. Uh, thanks so much for tuning in. Uh, tag floor culture, uh, hashtag floor culture. And in your Instagram post, anything, anything like that. And um, I very likely will repost, uh, depending upon how creative you are with it. And thank you all for subscribing to this podcast. Thank you all so much for uh, grabbing the online program, Align Method online program seven-day free trial it breaks down all of this stuff and more essentially it is a guide and everything you need for self-care and uh, the fundamentals of integrating better movement into your daily life it includes uh, lifestyle stuff like morning routines nighttime routines people have been digging that seven-day free trial and thank you for grabbing the book align method um your reviews on that mean the world and thanks for tuning in if you guys enjoy these conversations, or again, not conversations, these monologues, uh, solo episodes, I will keep doing them. And uh, that was chapter four, Floor Sitting, your foundation for self-care. Um, thank you so much for tuning in. And yeah, on to the next.